care of everything. Uh, finally, we get to the last person. Um, when I got this phone call about five or six months ago, I thought I was eating mushrooms from back in the 60s when I heard this voice come over the phone. And I looked down to see if there were any substances that shouldn't have been there from the 60s. And he goes, do you know who this is? And I said, yes, George, I recognize that voice anywhere. Right. And uh, George uh, put in a lot of time and effort. Uh, his phone calls went from 45 minutes to 30 minutes. Um, we appreciated his efforts in getting all of you here and would like to present George with a plaque in appreciation for your time and effort in arranging the 64-65 Saunders class reunion. Deepest regards from all the guests. something that, uh, you know, is once in a lifetime, and I know I would not have missed this for anything. So, you know, in appreciation to George, I, again, I didn't know that that plaque was coming. I did put together just something real quick that says the best school spirit to George Tompkins from the class of 64 and 65. It's got the picture of our beloved high school on Saunders uh, on South Broadway. It's got the 64 yearbook, the 65 yearbook. And George's 65 picture, you would have had 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So I just wanted to put that together for him in appreciation from all of us, okay? Because, you know, I talk to a lot of guys, guys that aren't here today, and uh, I try to do my best in convincing them that this was a gift that was on the table for them to reach out and take that the gift was being presented. All they had to do was take it like we all have done. And uh, unfortunately, some of our colleagues are not here. And I miss them very dearly. And I, I had the opportunity and the pleasure of speaking to them on the phone. And uh, I really, and thanks to George. I mean, I, like all of you, we spent hours and hours. My wife spent hours. I think she knows some them. <laughs> But I know, uh, who was, uh, Stewie, somebody's kids? Yeah. Stewie's kids know him intimately. <laughs> so my, my two daughters, one's 21, one's 116, they know George like a book because they can tell you everything about what's going on today. And this has been going on for the last eight months. And this guy, I, I gotta tell you, I, I, without this man that's sitting next to me, standing next to me. I'll be sitting soon. Uh, you'll be sitting soon. You know, it's amazing the, the tenacity that this guy's had to go after and, and call 20 different people with the last name looking for this person. He has spent hours, days, because I can tell you I've been on a phone. If you ask, add it all up, I've probably spent days on the phone with this guy. And this started three years ago in my store when he and I were talking about it. And we said that, you know, it would be nice if somebody had done this. And, he has done such a great job that, you know, we've all come back in time, haven't we? And it's, it's great that all of us can see each other. It's just a wonderful thing that what George Tompkins has accomplished for all of us. And all I can say is, George, you're the best. I love you. I, I just wanted to reiterate what Stewie said. Uh, I got involved much later in the game than Stu did, but uh, the spirit that was alive, and still is alive as you can see, and, it, and one of the teachers brought it out earlier, in, the class, in this, this group, in the class of 64 and 65, is special. And, and I, I personally cherish that. This is a demonstration of, of what we cherish right here. 
it's dedication. And, and I, I wish we could see that in other classes, and, and, and we certainly see it in the support of the teachers that came here today. Uh, it, it was, I guess, a special time. I think that's what it's all about. It's this fellowship. I, I don't know what, put, you couldn't put a price on it. it it's just the, the most genuine thing. Everybody rallied, everybody, yeah, I'll be there, I'll be there. The turnout we have today. But the efforts that this man put into it, with his own time, personal time, business, business time, <laughs> things like this, and, and in a busy world that we're in, uh, it's absolutely amazing what was accomplished here. Uh, there's a few people that, that, like George said, that wanted to be here, couldn't be here. Uh, some people that saw on the board here aren't with us. And I just wanted to bring to the toast to, to the teachers and, and the students uh, in memory of those who would have been here. And I'd like to lift my glass. I, I just want to point out one thing, and I, I think everybody's going to love this, and I believe I'm right on this. I think if everybody goes down to South Broadway and looks at the what's called police headquarters, saw this high school, a technical high school, that what was over the main entrance is still there, if I'm right. They have never taken that down. So we're still there on South Broadway. So it's it's a home run. Hair club for men. <laughs> You know, for years, everybody's been telling me about this, that I color my hair, that I've had hair plugs. It's all real. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I should be dead by now. I should have high blood pressure. I'm in the retail business, guys. I should have no hair. My blood pressure should be 300, and I should have been dead a long time ago. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, George. <laughs> You're fine. Wow. I'm going to do it in Orlando. <laughs> I already started anyway. Uh, I wanted to do this a hundred years ago. I would have done it five years after we got out of school. I think the greatest days of my entire life were spent in that place. I, I, I don't regret most of the things I did. <laughs> Especially when it came to Mr. Berman. <laughs> The bird calls, but well worth it. He never did catch the bird, by the way. I remained out of the cage for many, many years. And I can't think of a greater bunch of people that I've ever met in my entire life, because you guys are more than just fellow classmates, you're brothers. We had something special in that school. I don't think there was, there was a time when one of us was walking down the street, if we didn't see somebody else giving a hassle to a guy with a Saunders jacket on, we would have, would have thought twice about jumping in to save the guy's neck. Okay, and I saved yours a few times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I was the smallest guy in the group. But uh, I thank you all for this. I mean, Carmine, this is, this is absolutely beautiful and this black. I mean, I, I never in a million years expected anything like this. And I'm just so happy that all of you could be here today to, to share this. And again, as Charlie said also, at the same time, think back to the guys who aren't here any longer, and our friends, the guys that sat next to us in the lab and in class who have gone on to a better place, and thank you all. I love you. <laughs>